What's up guys, my name is PC for Johnny Intel and here I have some more Black Ops 3 multiplayer gameplay for you. In this particular game I'm playing the game mode Hardpoint on the map called EVAC. Now EVAC is a small to medium sized close quarters map whereby most of the action takes place in very confined spaces or indoors. There is outdoor areas of course but if you're playing a game mode like Hardpoint for example, uh, much of the action takes place indoors where there's tons of directions of engagement from the enemy team and therefore at least a really frantic gameplay. And of course uh, you can rack up tons of like triples and double kills as you'll see in this particular gameplay. I get quite a few triples and doubles. Uh, simply because people are kind of crowding around in rooms and you can walk straight in there and if you have the right weapon you can just mow them down straight away and that is pretty much it. So last week I was in LA for E3 and I had the chance to play Black Ops 3 for quite a few hours and therefore I figured I'd give you my general opinion of the game so far across multiple gameplay videos. So if you haven't already, check out my channel. I have a gameplay of the map called Hunted where I discuss the movement mechanics in Black Ops 3 and how they compare to Advanced Warfare. So uh, many were concerned that the exosuit is making a return to Black Ops 3 but I can confirm it's nothing like the exosuit in Advanced Warfare. It's very different in terms of how it works and how it lets you move around the map. It's more there to kind of aid your movement in terms of just speeding things up or wall running. It's not there to double jump in the air and evade gunfights and so on. This game is definitely more grounded than Advanced Warfare full stop. It's literally almost like Black Ops 2 with the addition of a thrust jump which kind of gets you uh, up to a ledge for example or might uh, allow you to wall run for a little while but it definitely does not allow you to evade gunfights to the extent that Advanced Warfare did. So uh, if you think it's going to be as bad as Advanced Warfare I can confirm it's nothing like that at all. Uh, so, so for those of you that are worried about the movement mechanics in Black Ops 3. It's very toned down and it's far more grounded and uh, to be honest it's much more like the core Call of Duty experience as opposed to that of Advanced Warfare. So definitely a plus there. To be honest I found myself uh, double tapping X or double tapping A when I was playing the game at first uh, much like you do in Advanced Warfare. You're kind of used to it given the fact of course we've played Advanced Warfare for the last six months or so. So uh, at times I was like why am I not double jumping? What's going on here? Uh, but eventually I kind of accustomed to it and uh, most of the time I was just running along the ground. You do have unlimited sprint remember in Black Ops 3 and uh, you do have a slight fall damage but it's not too much so uh, most of the time you can uh, survive uh, a fall but there is minor fall damage in this game it's not uh, unlimited fall damage or should I say no fall damage uh, like in Advanced Warfare so if you do uh, fall from a, a high distance there is a small chance you can kill yourself in this game uh, but most of the time you just simply hurt yourself uh, to the point that if you get one shot on you you're gone but uh, most of the time um, it's very difficult to actually find a high enough uh, area whereby you actually cause full damage uh, to a character. As for the ability to run along walls, to be honest, I didn't find myself using it all that often. That's probably because though I didn't actually know the maps too well. Uh, but once we learn the maps, I can definitely see the tactical advantage to using it. And uh, you can definitely change some movements, uh, allowing you to go across the map uh, very quickly. So you can literally from A to B, if you chain the movements right, you can go from one place to another very, very quickly. And there's also a tactical advantage to it. So there are some routes you can take, which literally put you in total cover. Uh, so you can literally flank the side of a map, for example, and then pop up the other side and then take people out from behind if they haven't seen you already. So there's definitely some advantages to the raw running ability and uh, once people learn them across all the maps it's definitely very very interesting. I'm also interested to see how it's going to work in uh, esports uh, because that's going to change the way in which uh, people get around the maps uh, completely and again it works very differently to the kind of exo ability in Advanced Warfare because instead of just being able to just double jump and boost you're now wall running uh, and then chaining actions together so it's very different and it works in a quite a different way to Advanced Warfare. Anyway guys let me know what you think about all this so far in the comment section below. If you're liking the look of Black Ops 3 so far, uh, let me know in the comment section below and be sure to smash that like button if you're enjoying the gameplay and you're excited for Black Ops 3 when it finally releases in November. Uh, I'm going to have another video coming out soon, uh, obviously going into more detail about my opinions so far and things I've found about uh, Black Ops 3 multiplayer and of course more multiplayer uh, gameplay for Black Ops 3. Anyway guys, I appreciate you watching this video, be sure to smash that like button as I said and I'll see you in my next video. Hard point locked down. Friendly UAV in down. Hostile counter UAV above. Radar is down. Reaper trashed. We're winning this fight. Hardpoint identified. Hardpoint locked down. Hardpoint locked. 
the last seconds. Bring this home. <laughs>